Hey guys, it's Sim. I'm here with, I think, episode three. I will correct that on the screen if <laughs> I'm mistaken. Um, I'm here with another episode of the storage sticker, uh, storage and organization videos. Um, I'm focusing this time on this right here, which is the sort of um, folder divider system that I have for my backup stickers and some of the stickers that I don't use actively at this moment. Over here, you guys, is the active um, divider system, the accordion files that I use for my everyday sticker use. So these are the little Office Depot um, accordion files that I just keep open on my desk like this at all times and I have similar labels as you can see on this one but this is going to be another episode the one that I keep on my cart so back to this guy right here this is where some of the lesser used stuff goes to but this did used to be my primary way of holding stickers before I found the accordion files. So um, this has been requested by um, several people in the past so I just wanted to go ahead and um, go over some of the materials that I used to make this. It's super easy um, and I am going to take this box out and we can go through all the stickers together too so <laughs> you might want to grab a drink. The box itself, and I will go over this again, is just um, one of those photo boxes from Michaels and they are a standard size and I know they come out with them all year long for different seasons. Um, this was, I don't know, I got this a few years ago. It just has a floral print that I will show you closer and we will go ahead and get into how I made this and then go through some of the, some of the stickers that are in there. Okay guys, so I'm going to really quickly share literally the three things that you need um, to make a folder like that, I guess four. <laughs> I'll show it to you in detail, the box that I got, but um, literally you can find it anywhere. I know Joanne has them, Hobby Lobby has them, Michaels has them, um, I bet Walmart has them, I mean Amazon <laughs> will have them. Um, the second thing is an eight and a half by eleven uh, cardstock. This is just, um, the, I use the lighter colors from this pack to make the dividers. So you take the eight and a half by 11 sheet and you do have to cut it down an inch from the side because the width of the box is, you will have to get the sheet down to seven and a half inches right here. So you would cut that down and then fold it in half and that's the first part of your divider. Um, I did stick them, once they're like side by side like this, I did stick um, the backs together so that there wasn't any space where you couldn't put stickers um, and I guess I'll show you more of that when we get into the box. But the next thing that I wanted to share was this punch. And I used, I know there are tab punches, but I actually used a tag punch. <laughs> and this is just how I did it. Again, you guys, you can just, I'm sure there are tons of sticker storage systems that you could find online, but I just wanted to share with you how I did mine. Um, this is, I don't even know, okay, here's, the brand. I forget where I got this from. Probably Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I'm going to say Hobby Lobby, but that's the brand. It's massive. I think it's like a two inch um, punch. I'm going to go ahead and use this and punch it. And so you do get this tag shape, but what I did for my tabs was literally line this up and cut off this piece right here and take this and fold it in half and then I put it like this on top and I mean half of it can go on the paper and half of it off I just did it by just looking at it I didn't measure anything um, so I put it on differing places on the sheet so that you would have like I think I did four, so like one here and then 
the other one would be here, the other one would be here, the other one would be at the other end. So again, I know this is all very vague and like loose, but that's just how I made it. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you was I used the multi-use labels from Avery. Um, it is these guys to put on here to write the categories once I had, once I placed it on the divider. So yeah, it's super easy the way I did it. If you want to be more methodical, of course, I'm sure there's several different places that you could find um, a way to make them, but people had just asked how I made mine, so that's why I'm sharing this part of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and take all of this off of here and put the box in front of me. Okay guys, here it is. So I tried to move the camera as high as I could, but this is the box. Oh cool, it does get in the shot like if I really try hard enough. Um, so I will go through every single one of these categories. The other thing that I was going to say, I did have to tape some of these down. If you can see, um, sometimes the label like over time especially if you go through this a lot, which I don't even, um, but it will start to come up. So what I just do is literally take a piece of clear tape. Um, I mean, you could do it like over the entire thing, but I just d have done that to a lot of them so they don't come up. Um, so you might have to just reinforce it with some tape is what I'm saying. <laughs> But if you can see, I have them spaced out so that, oh, I guess it was three, not four, of the, of the labels. And I do have them in alphabetical-ish order. I think at some point I needed to add a few more sections and there were some open spaces. So I just <laughs> went ahead and did that. Um, I don't know how I'm going to... Maybe I'll put it aside and go through the sections. Like, I don't know how I should do this. This is the box. It's, like I said, it's one of the photo boxes. And this is hefty. I mean, this thing is heavy and it holds a lot. The rolling cart that I have is the wider one from Michaels. So it does fit on the top of that. And I believe that it will still fit in the regular utility cart. Um, but let me tell you the size. The box is, of course I'm holding the ruler upside down. The box is 11 inches by, eh, I would say a little over seven and a half inches, but that's why you need to have your paper at seven and a half so that it can still have room enough to move around and that it's not like bending to the box, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the stickers. Like I said, this box, um, this storage system is there for some of my backup stickers, like some of the ones that I don't use every day, or some of these I have picked out of here and put into my reusable sticker books so that I do have access to them, um, but that I don't go through this every day. And some of these are like, there's, I think, a section called like future where there's like babies and stuff which I don't have a baby <laughs> but hopefully in the future I might um, and it's just stuff that I've accumulated there's only a few in that section but things like that basically that I don't use every single day and sometimes I switch this out with my existing um, sticker collection that was a very rambly intro, but um, yeah, grab a drink and let's go through some of the sticker sheets that are in here. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that very quickly. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind. I'm just going to pull out um, the, in order of how they are in here, I'm just going to pull out the sections and share with you what all is in here. So let me see if that, if it goes any... Oh boy, I don't want it to fall, but... <laughs> okay, the first part we have here is adulting. And I have some Let's Plan It stickers that I used to use a lot when I first started planning. Um, 
We have these, which are from May Cause Memories, which also used to be one of my favorite shops. I don't know if they're open anymore. Are they? No clue. So those are the only things that are in the adulting section. And then if you look, the next section is no adulting. So let's see what all is in here. So we have some more Let's Plan It. They're so cute. I just love that the the colors are... Okay, I'm not going to talk too much about every sticker because can you imagine how long it would be? This is from More Avenue. A lot of hashtags of no adulting. This is a really old one. This is from the Geeky Planner. Sarcasm Central. That's so cute. Um... Yeah, just a lot of super cute, funny things. And then this is Peanut Butter Taco, the Effort List. I might have to put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. Um, this is, oh my gosh, what was it? So I guess I took half of it. Watercolor Blooms, I think. Yeah, it's right there, duh. <laughs> I have half of that, I think, in my regular collection. Um, this was Sparkly Paper Co. back in the day. Yeah, guys, as you can see, like, these are super old. Um, I don't think they exist anymore. They might, but this is Oh Hey Sticker Co. Um, I think this was a backup freebie for one of my orders because they had forgotten to send something, and then they sent me an extra one of this. Um, Simply Me Kish, old school. I love these. And then, again, another peanut butter taco effort list. So cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have to go faster than this. All right, so we have Angry. And I do have a lot of these in my feelings, like everyday used items. But um, these are just ones that there are a lot of extras of. This I haven't used at all. Um... Frank Hearts You. Oh my gosh, I love these. I don't even know. Are they... Is this a shop? Obsessed with cute? Are they still open? I don't know. But I love these girls. Stationary Heaven Co. And then this is Craftrina. I have to use these. Like, I know I have... So these are, like I said, like backups extras, um, anxiety, we have some fox and cactus, sugary gal shop, oh this was um, the anxious planner, I don't know where she's at but I miss her, um, this is Mr. Nervous, and then uh, disco prints, and may cause memories. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Ah, you guys. I don't know. I feel like I need to be to be quick about it, but then I also I don't know. It's going to take a while, I think, if I don't go quickly. We have some banners here. So like these are super old. I don't really go for these much. Um Prince paper. This is like when I first started planning. Plan to perfection. Beyond the paper flower. Is it beyond paper flowers now? I'm not sure if that's the same. And so some from the happy planner. So those are banners. Uh, okay. Beauty and hygiene. We have some once more with love shaving stickers. Bubble Mon sticker, makeup stickers, um, Peaceful Mind Design, love that. Ohana Story, I think I have another one of this in my stash, or like in my daily use. Grin and Barrett, the Coffee Monsters Co. period stickers, the Ickle Blogger, uh, which is Ickle and Co. right now. Little Paper Prints, Happy Doodle stickers. Stationary Heaven Co. Oh my gosh, these are so old, you guys. <laughs> like, I might need to de-stash some. Um, Planner Addicts Co. Mm. Um, this is from Stardust Stickers. 
clean brushes from my newest addiction back in the ye olden days. Watercolor blooms. Oh my gosh. Um, Creative Keo. Birds Fly Studio. The Sticker Party. Oh, Tamashi Melon. I think they changed their name. Tamashi Prince? I don't know. The Coffee Monsters Co. Oh my gosh, there's a coffee bean sticker that I haven't used. <laughs> These pads from Happy Cutie Studio. And this is a, like, from the digital freebies from Paper Shire. I guess there are some updated things in there, but let's see. So that was beauty and hygiene. <laughs> you guys. Ah. Okay. So we have some bills stickers, the whimsical cat, a happy blue tree, sweet deco chic, some Ohana story which I still use to this day in my spreads. Oh so much Joyco. I want to put these in my, I'm going to put that aside so I can use them. Um, okay. Oh hello Michelle. Okay I kind of like that too. <laughs> Uh, all right. Yeah, there are like so many good stickers here. Once more with love. I don't know if this is an older one. The credit card. Studio Adorkable. I love these guys. I have him already in my stash. Um, the Planning Butler. I have like a full sheet. And then these are just from Happy Planner pages. So that was Bill's. Okay, so it's not going to be as long as I thought because some of the categories don't have that many stickers in them. <laughs> I hope. Okay, so these are challenges. So I have a ton of challenge stickers that I have not used. And some of them I have actually gone through and did the entire challenge. Um, so... <laughs> Let me show you really quickly. This is, I still haven't done this one. Um, these are awesome. So this is Peaceful Mind Design. And this is the abs challenge. Um, and it is, is it a 60 day challenge? 30 day challenge, I think. And there's some like motivational quotes in there. And then, so for example, you have like 10 roll ups, 10 ankle reaches, 10 leg lifts, and seven reverse crunches. So... That's Peaceful Mind Design and then Sweet Kawaii Design. These are pretty old, um, but I did use her, um, the 30 day plank challenge and I guess I gave up after day 18 or I don't remember what happened there, but yeah, there's the plank and then the push up challenge and then the booty challenge. And then this one, you get to write the day and how many reps. And this is by Plannertopia. That's the squat challenge. And then you have the lunges challenge. I made one for my shop that was a plank challenge, I think. And I think I totally forgot to list it. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that is. Um, I think it used to be up on my Etsy shop, but ever since I switched to Shopify, I don't have it on there. So I might put that on there. The 30 day apps challenge. I probably quit after day seven. <laughs> this I used a lot for uh, my own plank challenge that I had done a while ago. So that's Planetopia as well. So those are all the challenges. 
And then those I don't keep in my um, current stash unless I'm actively doing a challenge, in which case I'll keep that particular one. But other than that, the rest of them stay behind in this pack. So, okay, these are chores. So I have some extra like watering plants from Happy Doodle stickers, half of this sheet from GP Sticker Studio, Happy Day, uh, a melancholy moose. I love all the Dobby, so I have two sheets of that. Um, Happy Cutie Studio. Oh, hello, Michelle. Ooh, that's like cut way off center, but I can still use them. Um, Happy Cutie Studio, gas, watering plants. You can see I clearly don't water my plants. <laughs> and then this is Studio Dorkable, which used to be a Dorkable stickers. So those are chores. I think like this is fun doing this, going through this, but I think it's gonna be even more fun going through my daily stash. Um, like in the accordion files on my desk, that'll be fun too. So okay, this is, what is it you guys? After chores? Oh, cleaning. Okay, so this is cleaning. I love this, housekeeping style. There appears to have been a struggle. This is May Cause Memories. Um, Fox and Pip, Planner Cuties, I don't know, these are old, and then Peaceful Mind Design, I love these girls. Okay, so that was cleaning, and then clothing, so I have a clothing category <laughs> with some Bubble Mons. Kaylee's Papery, which is Millie Paper Co. Now, Sugary Gal Shop. She's putting boxes away or taking boxes out. Uh, Tamashi Prints. I don't even know if they're still open. Ohana Story. Oh, they're so cute. Ohana Story. And then Stationary Heaven. Look at she can't. She's looking for something to wear. I love that. And I think, I don't know if I have a clothing section in my actual everyday stash. Maybe not. Okay, so there's a big section of coffee. And, I mean, my section for coffee in my actual, like, daily sticker system is massive. So, like, <laughs> this is the back stock of that. Um, okay, so we have some Moonlight Paper Co. I think that's, that might also be Moonlight Paper Co. I'm not sure. Some Paper Shire, which used to be Toffee Bananas. Um, 15 Prill. Banana Doodle Shop. Baba Bear Studios. These, This is one of my first ever purchased stickers ever. So I don't know if it's this sheet in particular, but this girl is one of my first ever stickers when I first started planning. Paper Dove Shop. I guess I used one out of this sheet. Um, Kaylee's Papery, again, Millie Paper Co., I believe. Oh, hello, Michelle. This is a backup. I already have this sheet and use it. Tamashi Prints. Create with Pen. Fox and Pip. Caffeine, please. Ohana Story. Oh, my goodness. I love this one. <sighs> Oh, hello, Michelle. This is one of my favorites. Again, this is a backup sheet. Um, Ohana Story. So Much Joy Co. Coffee Monsters Co. Oh, this is so cute. Willow Wallow Co. Planner Monkey Co. Stationary Heaven. Again, Millie Paper Co. This is one of my favorites. This is a backup sheet too, I think. Sparkly Paper Co. Ohana Story, Ohana Story. See, oh my gosh, this might have been an older sheet because it's so much larger. Um, Bubba Bear Studios, and it says like Monday sucks on the cup. And then this is the Planning Butler. So cute. Okay, so that was a bigger section than the other ones. Um, and I think only one other 
I think um, the therapist part might be big as well. Um, so this is computer. And anything with a computer <laughs> is in here, obviously. Tricky Sticky Stickers, Planner Monkey Co., the Fat Cat Designs, the Whimsical Cat, um, Pumpkin Paper Co. I think I have backups of these, like, or multiples of these in my stash, so. Pidea, Once More With Love. What is this? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at the cats on the desk. This is so cute, but I totally forgot where it's from. And unless I find the top of this, I'm not going to remember where it's from. Um, these are like old school my shop. Old school Spencer and Jude where my logo was completely different. And they're the glitter laptops. Um, this little piggy plans. Again, with the cat theme. Um, lovely plannery. Fox and Cactus Computers, Paper Seagull Co., Pumpkin Paper Co., this is a double, I have this already, um, Harriet Wright Designs with the Little Pretty Girl Cup, so cute, Sweet Deco Chic, which I think eh, has a different name right now, I'm not sure. Um, Fox and Cactus, also have this already in my stash and I use it. Um, this is Stickies by CNS. Fox and Pip. I think I got the wrong, like, darker skin tone here, and I ha I think I have the lighter one that I use, but I mean, I'm still going to use this. Like, um, blogging Write Stickers by Happy Cutie Studio. So these say Write. Um, so this is, I think, the lighter? I don't know. This is... This is the bigger version of the Fox and Pip Computer Girls. And then, oh my gosh, is this, is this, um, Simply Me Kish? I'm not sure. So that was the computer section. You guys were at C still. <laughs> it's gonna be a long one. Okay, so there's a YouTube section. Um, that I have a few old stickers from, but my YouTube section is in my everyday collection. Like, there's way more in there. Um, Magic Prints Co. Film Edit Upload. Text. Again, some Stationery Heaven. I don't know why I don't go to these ones often. Uh, Rainbow Prints. Some Half Boxes. Blue Tick Design Co. I don't know if she's open anymore. I don't know where she's been. But um, record, edit, and pre-upload and upload text stickers there. That is YouTube, which is not alphabetically in the wrong, in the right place. But <laughs> you know, oh well. And then cozy. This is also, I think, a massive category because I have so I have home and cozy right like next to each other, as you'll see in my. Um, everyday collection video or everyday sticker organization cozy and home are kind of similar um, like in that they contain similar themed stickers like candles sleeping in or whatever like sitting on the couch um, so these are kind of like that and there are so many of those like they take up the two categories so the backups of those are over here um, so we have some Monica's Marvels. Like these are when you print and cut these digitals from Monica's Marvels, you get a crap ton. <laughs> so that's why my backups are here because my originals are in my everyday collection. Not originals, but the ones I actually use. So you get like the bigger size as well. So cute. So that's all um, digitals from Monica's Marvels. And then we have Hello Paper Cat, Sadie and Me. These are so cute. I do have, these are just backups. I bought two of these each at the time, I think. And you would have probably seen it in my haul. This is, um, oh my gosh, Sweet Bee Plans. And this was also a digital back in the ye olden days. Like a seasonal one. Monica's Marvels, Cozy Day In, 
and this is Be Happy Plans. These are relatively new-ish, um, but yeah, they're just backups. And then Sweet Bean Plans, this is their old, old, old format. Like, again, when I first started planning, um, GP Sticker Studio. Oh my gosh, this is the sick GP girl. And then Style Planner, we have like the Himalayan Salt Lamp. These are backups, I already have one of this in my stash. And then this Little Piggy Plans, Little Sleeping Piggy. And then this girl from Sweet Bean Plans. So yeah, this is kind of a flashback video too. Um, like a flashback, like a throwback to old, old sticker shops and old stickers. Um, where were we? Oh my goodness. Okay, cozy. And then I have a section that's working with kids that used to be in my everyday stash, but since I don't work that often with kids anymore, more with adolescents, but I used to work with like kids from 6 to 18. Um, I was a therapist as a, at a residential facility, um, but since I'm in private practice now, my population that I work with is a little bit different. Anywho, so I do have a section that's called Working with Kids, um, which would come in handy if I, you know, end up having children. But anyway, that's a whole other tangent. We have some Planner Monkey Co. And yeah, this is good for, like, parents out there, too, because, yeah, you could use these. So this is, like, Mom Life from Bubble Mom. Um, I used to use these for sessions, like the little... <laughs> The little kids like whenever I had big sessions or like a big meeting treatment team whatever um, Ohana story Tamashi prints another Ohana story create with pen there's like a kid throwing a tantrum pretty sure I've used another sheet of these before um, Ohana story Bubble Mon. Let's see. Um, again, oh, did I say this was Peaceful Mind Design? So you can choose, like, the... Okay, so they have awesome stickers. Like, you can choose your entire family um, and create stickers. Like, they do customs, and it's so cute. Like, you get to choose the size, the height, the skin color, the hair color, whatever. And so, I don't know what happened over here, but <laughs> that's that. Um, the Coffee Monsters Co. This is an old sheet. And then the Coffee Monsters Co. Again, the autism emojis. And then, ah, this is another mom life. Um, the autism sheet from uh, Willa Walla Co. There's Gertie. And then another Peaceful Mind Design with blonde little girls. Yeah, I just got like a bunch of different hair colored kids. Um, this is so cute. It's Camilla Jimena, I think, planner shop back in the ye olden days. Again, this is an old one. And it says the kids need you, which I thought was sweet and relevant. Um, and then there's like a uh, eye smooch planner sticker sheet. These are ministry stickers, but I used to um, cover that up with headers for like groups and um, yeah, just work days and stuff like that. So that would be cool though for its actual purpose. <laughs> so yeah, there is the working with kids category. And I know that I will uh, work with kids again. So they just sit there until I do uh, day off stickers. This is going to be a short one. That is the Whimsical Cat. My newest addiction. No work. The Planning Butler. Day off. And then um, Cho Chocho and Mimi. Day off. Which I love that font. So that was a smaller category. And these are just days text um, like it says, this is from my old shop, um, Pretty Planner Papery, oh my gosh, I only use like one set out of these, 
I'm pretty sure I have more of these in my foiled binder um, or my everyday use binder, but yeah, these are just backups, like I said, that I don't often reach for. And then, let's see, we have a whole bunch of extra date covers. Um, date covers that are like in this format. The ones that are in a 4x6 or smaller, I actually keep in a 4x6 album. Uh, but these are, like, these are my second batch of the lovely plannery date covers because I used them so much when I first started planning. Like, they were my go-to. And still, to this day, if it matches the kit that I have, like, I will go to them. Um, I don't know if she's still open. Um, she might be. I think I got them recently again, too, like a repurchase. We have some rose-colored days date covers which I can actually cut down and put into my actual, the one that I actually use. Excuse me, I just had a coughing fit. Look at these, Cali Rose Co. They're like little Harry Potter ones. That's so cute. So yeah, like I said, I use a ton of the Lovely Plannery. Ah! Yeah, so <laughs> that is date covers. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through some of the upcoming parts because otherwise it's going to be like a two hour video. So <laughs> I'm gonna put some music and go fast. This is the 52 week challenge um, by Let's Make It Sparkle. And I know you can find lots of these on Etsy or 
elsewhere, but I really like that they were on little piggy banks. And yeah, I have yet to do that particular challenge, but that's the only sticker sheet in finance. Okay, another huge section. And just looking at my everyday collection and this right here, my backup stickers for fitness, you would think that I was like ripped, like <laughs> so fit. Um, but I did used to work out a lot more than I do now, definitely a lot more. And so that's where all the stickers have accumulated from. And I would like to be able to use them again and routinely work out, but it's been a while. So let me go through this one quickly. I'm just going to show you Meh. so pear tea papery i know they're still around um the sticker alley look how cute rainbow prints tamashi prints kina prints this is pear tea papery again these are some of my favorites i use so much of these used to use so much of those um let me know if you know what this shop is because I don't. Queen Bee Designs, I guess. I'm just guessing. Um, Fox and Cactus, this is a backup. Um, this is also a backup. <laughs> um, Glam Planner. They're so cute. Planner Monkey Co. Oh, hello, Michelle. The Fox and Pip. I love these ones. I, I use these ones a lot. Um, I forget where this is from, but it's just the glittery sneakers, peaceful mind design, pear tea papery, bubble mon stickers co. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> um, this little piggy plans elliptical is like my was my choice of cardio, so. There's a lot of those. And then um, this I used quite a bit of. This is the backup of the same sheet, I think, that I showed before. This is Stationary Heaven. Again, I don't know why I don't go to those. I don't know if they're too small or what, but gosh, I need to use some of those. Um, Bubble Mon stickers again. <laughs> they're so cute. Um, Whimsical Cat. I think this was like a freebie. And then GP Studio. I have the rest of these in my actual, I keep saying like actual collection. This is like my collection too, but like my everyday stash. Everyday stash, that's what we'll call it. Stickies by CNS. Um, my favorite workout stickers ever to this day have been these, where she's chasing the pizza. I used to use these a lot in like 2016, 2017. Um... Maybe not even, okay, 2015, 2016, I think. It's been a while. Used a lot of these. Uh, Happy Cutie Studio. Some um, Happy Planner. This is GP Sticker Studio. Yoga Pella, the cat. Um, this is a backup. I definitely have used an entire sheet of this before. Pumpkin Paper Co. Um, Harriet Wright Designs. <laughs> the, ooh, sorry. I was trying to show you the cat with its tail around the water bottle. And then this is from Mod Mode Designs. <laughs> so cute. And then Pear Tea Papery again. Gosh, I love these stickers. Oh, there it is. It's Panda Bird Design from back in the day. The glittery shoes were from Panda Bird Design, uh, Jen and Spice, again Jen and Spice, The Powder World, these are pretty huge I think, I, same with these ones, the sizes were I think pretty big, um, again Oh Hey Sticker Co, I don't think they're open anymore but these are like workout half boxes, Sweet Bean Plans from the ye olden days, Planning World, a happy blue tree. It's so cute because you can use these like on top of the treadmill and also like running outside with the sun. I thought that was really cool, but apparently I haven't used it. Why Davis Designs, it's just like motivational quotes. 
Uh, the yoga girl. <laughs> Can you tell I haven't done yoga? Um, yeah. So that's JP Sticker Studio and then Pear Tea Papery. This is kind of like the sampler of all the sheets that I have individually. But I love these. Okay. So I do have like a bigger fitness section in my everyday stash. <laughs> but currently it is not being used. So let's go ahead and put the fitness back. Oh my gosh. You guys, there was like three more sheets in there. And I will share them with you. Sweet Kawaii Designs. Design. Lexi Kylie Designs. And some Happy Planner thingies. So that is going back in here. Okay, next section we have is food. So the food section, we have Monica's Marvels. And I do have some of that in my everyday collection. Um, Stickeroki bagels, Hey Soul sticker wings, some toffee bananas, which is Paper Shire, <sighs> some Reese's from Hello Paper Cat, Nuggies, oh my gosh, do I have these? I think I have these in, like, another one in my everyday collection. The Chick-fil-A stickers. Oh, they're so cute. Um, hey Soul sticker, the crepes, um, nacho dip from Paper Shire, some mixed sheets with all kinds of pink desserts, Another mix sheet with some toast. And the GP Studio with all of her greens. My little puffy sampler. I'm just going to go through like this, you guys. And if you have a question, let me know down below. Because otherwise, it's going to be... This is so cute. It's going to be a way long video. I mean, I'm pretty sure it still is. But, yeah, so we have all sorts of food stickers. I guess I used a lot of those. Here's some chicken. I just love the Mochi Kichi guys that were, like, um, juggling the drumsticks. <laughs> the Pizza Queen. I can't ever bring myself to, like, use these because they're so pretty. Um, so, anywho... <laughs> Stationary Heaven, yogurt, frozen yogurt, um, heart mint prints, I know this was from like a grab bag, and fox and cactus, <laughs> fast food, oh my gosh, I love these, um, plans with Vanessa, soup and um, grilled cheese and tomato soup, what did I say? Um, salad and grilled cheese and tomato soup. Pizza. Pizza. We go through phases where we do pizza nights and then sometimes we don't. <laughs> so I guess I had put most of these away uh, when we weren't doing them. I love these. Monica's Marvels. It's like the side-by-side feet with the socks and the pajamas and there's a pizza box right there and you can write in what you're watching. I love those. Pumpkin Paper Co. I remember I used one of these for Thanksgiving one year. Um, we have What's for Dinner half boxes from the Happy Planner books. Some Nutella from Kina Prints. A massive doodle sampler from Paper Shire and uh, utensils from Oh Hey Sticker Co. And I know you can find these multicolored utensils in a bunch of places. So, that was food, you guys. Ah. All right, so moving forward, after food we have TV and movies. I do have an entire folder, not folder, I have a 4x6 album that is dedicated to just TV shows, like just stickers representing TV shows. So this guy right here um, houses 
this four by six. It houses like things that are specific to movies and TV shows like Star Wars, Harry Potter, Friends, like anything that is, that is a specific TV show will be in here. And this is from Cricut Paper Co. And I've shared it before. So it's the four by six. And so all of the specifics are in there. But this is just, this stash is just for like TV and movies that aren't specific. So this is just if we're watching TV um, or like the characters watching TV, if that makes sense. So I hope that wasn't too much of a confusing tangent. But okay, Grin and Barrett. This is a backup sheet because I use these a lot. Um, Peaceful Mind Design. Oh my gosh, I love these girls with the remote control in her hand. Um, Stickies by CNS. Oh, those were, as you can tell, like my favorite too. Um, some Willa Wallow Co. Old School. Uh, Planner Cuties. Glam Planner. I love the bunny that's like right in front of the TV. Ah! Two more sheets of the Grin and Barrett of my favorite TV stickers. Uh, another Glam Planner. Some movie marquees, which don't belong here. Oh, okay. I guess these are backups. So, <laughs> backup movie marquees. Um, the Sticker Party Netflix stickers. The Sticker Party. These are to rate the movies. So, I haven't used any of those. And then this is Stardust stickers now showing like cinema. I haven't been to the actual movie theater in a really long time. Um, these are super old. I think I have another sheet of these that I have gone through. Um, this is Pretty on Paper Co. And if you look closely, look at the feet with the bunny slippers. It's so cute. So there's like, again, two sets of feet <laughs> with popcorn and Chinese takeout and Netflix in the background. So they are half boxes and I think one third boxes. Oh my God, my phone is blowing up. Okay. Um, these are the old, I don't know if I ever carried these in my shop. Maybe I did, but it looks like I did. And <laughs> there's like a popcorn version of these, but these are the plain ones. And then peanut butter taco, like movie challenge, which we have wanted to do for the longest time, but have not done. Um, the sticker Panda Co. Cute. Fat Cat Designs. Pumpkin Paper Co. And I guess I took half of this. It's in there somewhere. Uh, more of my some of my favorite TV stickers. This one has like the different emotions. I used to use these a lot. Um, Cosmic Stickers, this is an older one, Kaylee's Papery, uh, Millie Paper Co., Blackbird Print Co. Originals, so cute. I love that whole, whole picture. And then this is um, Netflix and Plan by Fox and Pip. So those are television and movies. Next section is traffic, 
and I don't believe that I do have a traffic section in my everyday stash so um, I don't often go for these but when I need them they're there so <laughs> um, oh hello Michelle Ohana story I used to love these ones when I listened to music in the car um, I would put these down um, I don't know why I always say this. I don't know why Snow Me is so excited about there being huge traffic. Like, <laughs> but I thought that was funny. And then another one where um, this is Bougie. Yeah, that was Snow Me. This is Bougie. And then another like sort of traveling by car. Um, I guess I could put that in travel too. Um... I guess they're interchangeable because I will definitely be using like this one and this one for our trip to Tennessee last week um, or the week before now. But yeah, we had both sort of experiences <laughs> on the road. Uh, Once more with love. This was also in like a grab bag or a freebie or something like that. And then this is Bubble Mon, the road trip. <sighs> I love it. They're so cute. I want to use like all of them for one trip. Is that doable? I mean, it was all day, so I could just fill like the entire day with stickers. Um, like we were on the road all day, so we didn't do anything else. So I guess I could use traffic stickers for all of it. <laughs> all right, the next section is happy. Um, again, I have an, a huge emotion section in my everyday stash. So these are just randoms. Uh, Kina prints. Stickies by CNS. I love that sticker. Um, obsessed with cute. Like I told you, I had so many of these girls. Um, Viva Stationery. Obsessed with cute. That's a small section. And then next we have Happy Mail. I do have a Happy Mail section, but Let's go through these. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting to take the coffee bean stickers off of here. But <laughs> um, lovely Plannery, Tamashi Prints, hair. Okay, Fox and Cactus. This is like the girl that hides the happy mail behind her back and she's like sweating. Like, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> um, Viva Stationery. I love these. I don't use these enough. Um, another one. Paisley Prince Co. Oh, hello, Michelle. Hey, lady, your mail's here. This is one of my favorites. I think I have, like, a die cut of that. Um, Paper Seagull Co. The Coffee Monsters Co. Another unused <laughs> coffee bean sticker. Oh, my gosh. Um, and then Flying Sheep stickers. And the larger ones from the Fox and Pip. I feel like I could use those. What I'm going to do is cut this in half and keep half of this here and put half of this in my everyday stash. Okay. Going back to Happy Mail. All right, next is Headache. I only have two sheets in here. One is Ohana Story and the other one is <laughs> Anxiety Aids and it says F you Headache. I think I have more of those in my everyday. And then health. Uh, again, this is just backups. I know I say that with every section, but uh, what I mean by that is health is a one of the primary sections in my everyday collection. But I just, um, I just have so many of it that there's some overflow here. So Monica's Marvels, I have the teenier versions of this that I use all the time. Um, the Band-Aids from Monica's Marvels. What's that one? Bigger Band-Aids. Um, Happy Doodle stickers. I love these, the Simply Me Kish um, quarter or one third boxes. They're so cute. <laughs> this is the back pain one. Uh, by Ohana Story. Knock on wood, I have not had back pain in a while. This is Lovely Nanny Co. The Mood Tracker. Oh my gosh. 
This is from five years ago when I stopped smoking and I was tracking it in my planner. Holy crap, it's been a long time. So, <laughs> like, if this is back when I didn't even have an Instagram for my planning stuff. It was just when I, when I like, first started planning in 2015. One Punky Mama Design is where that's from. And then I guess I stopped tracking it <laughs> at one point. Okay. Sweet Kawaii Design, the weigh-in stuff, but it also has the medication, so I guess I have it in health. And same with the breakfast, lunch, dinner tracker and the hydrate tracker. I will never, ever use this, so I am going to de-stash de that. Um, but yeah, this is actually a cool one, and I would like to use more of that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Where are we at? That was health. Next is hobbies. Oh my goodness, I'm going to knock this camera over. <laughs> so next is hobbies, and I do have a hobbies section in my everyday collection. Mm, but these are just things that I haven't done in a while or um, things that I have not yet started. Case in point is the guitar piggy from Little Piggy Plans. Um, it's on my list. I'm starting it. I do have guitars. Like, Jacob has guitars everywhere. I have a guitar that my brother gifted to me, like, years ago. Um, one that he painted. So, it's, it's on my list. <laughs> it's going to get done. I will learn how to play the guitar. Um, and then these are soccer stickers that I just made for myself. Um, because I used to, like, when I was in Turkey, I used to go to games uh, with my dad and still will watch it like if I am in Turkey um, and the last time I was there I actually went to a match so anywho soccer stickers uh, with the team that I support their logo um, this is aerial yoga um, and I did you know do flying trapeze and circus and that's kind of more for that um, instead of aerial yoga but I haven't done that and I haven't been to circus in a long time. Um, this is the You're On Point uh, dancing sprinkles from Frank Hart's You and more dancing. Look at the little ballerina ones. Um, I made this one from like a clip art that I used in one of my sticker kits. I just made that for myself when I was ballroom dancing. Same with this use these a lot when I was ballroom dancing every week, but that hasn't happened in a really long time either. Okay, so those are hobbies, and like I said, the ones that I haven't done in a while. So things like paper crafting, um, crafting, and let's see, what else? Like tattoos, uh, Mario Kart, like things that I do on a regular basis are in my current like everyday collection. I am so rambling and we're not even, like, we're just over halfway, I think. I have some home decor, which consists of some Paper Shire stickers. All Paper Shire stickers. I didn't know where else to put these. Like, I mean, I guess I could use this for kitchen cleaning or something, but I primarily just have it as, like, a home decor thing because like the flower pots and everything I could use for just decorating on the sidebar. And then we have a few home improvement stickers here. I love these ones. Some Bubble Mon and some Morohana Story. Again, this is a lot of decor and everything, but um, it's like putting up picture frames and things of that sort. That's home improvement. I don't know what icons are. What are icons? So let's see. I have some old icon stickers here from Dioish Design. I don't want to butcher that, but it's D-J-O-I-S-C-H Design. And then this is from the Library Designs. Hmm. I like that. Circular icons. So... I guess I do have a section for icons if I need it, but not much in there. Um, this is the therapist section that I was saying is one of the bigger sections. 
So let's quickly go through that. I'm gonna push this back a little bit so I have space here um, to put these down. So we have Peaceful Mind Design. Again, I love them. This is um, an oops sheet from my old shop. Not my old shop, but my shop with my old logo. <laughs> so that's the therapist sampler. And then I think, I don't think I have put them on my current store. I think these were just in my Etsy shop. I don't know that I carry those in my Shopify. So I'm putting that in my mental to-do list. Um, C team and supervision. This is relevant to like DBT uh, and the private practice that I work at now. We have some um, paperwork sort of like this looked a lot like therapist to me. So that's that by CNS stickers. Um, Ohana story. I think this is a backup. I think I used a lot of these. Um, so much joy co pumpkin paper co paperwork. If anyone's a therapist, you know about paperwork. Um, I love these with the clipboard. Same clipboard face palm, face clipboard. <laughs> we have this little piggy. Uh, yeah, like this is hashtag therapist life. And then some, I mean, these could also be categorized as computer, but I don't know. I don't have a rhyme or reason really why I put these in therapists instead of, I don't know. And I do have a big therapist section in my everyday stash, but I'm using more Zoom stickers now than, you know, in-person stickers. So we have... Some that are like computer, some paperwork. I am going to put this in my everyday stash right here. Okay. Um, like, come on. So cute with the clipboard and the glasses. Um, another one of those sheets. This is like the at work sheet from Miss Adeline. Adeline. I've used a ton of those. I've used a ton of these. I love this one even though I'm not a man and I don't have a mustache. It's so like Freudian to me with the psychoanalytic couch and like, I don't know, I love this. <laughs> so there's a backup of that. Um, the Coffee Monsters Co. This is more like teaching, group therapy, meetings. Another therapist sheet from the Coffee Monsters Co. Paperwork, make copies. I used to make a lot of copies. Um, this is Wishy Washy at Etsy. Oh my gosh, there's a fly in here. Okay. Another one of these. Another one of these. I do use them a lot. Like, what can I say? Um, this is, again, from Camilla Jimena. And it says, don't go insane. Note to self. Um, these are my one of my favorite, like, therapist stickers. Although, I think it is, like, listed as, like, a doctor or something. I don't know. Um, Blue Tick Design Co. Therapy font or therapy text stickers. Planner Mania. I use these a lot too. Another one of the mustache therapist. Um, Sugary Gal Shop. And another one of the Blue Tick Design Co. Okay, once again, the orientation is lost to me, so I don't know which way these are all supposed to be facing. But that's going back in the therapist section. All right, next section we have is the kitty section, which I think, yes, I have a whole other section in my everyday collection as well of this one. But, okay, <laughs> so once more with love. We have a Plans with Vanessa. I used one of those, I guess. Look, but the kitty is exactly like my kitty. It's a uh, tuxedo cat. Um, Stardust Stickers Co. You guys, I have to speed this up and just like kind of show you what's in here because this is gonna be a long, long, long video. Lily's Little Cupboard on Etsy. I love these. Um, so much joy. Another once more with love. The joy of planning ones. They're so tiny and um, I think I got the wrong color. I got white 
instead of the tuxedo cat. I'm pretty sure I have a different version of this that I may have given to my mom. Um, like the black cat version. There are these clear ones. I don't know where they're from. Peaceful Mind Design with all sorts of cat activities. Um, <laughs> Cafe with cat. Paper Shire. This is, um, this came in a freebie, I think, from uh, Paper and Thread, which used to be Sweet Ava's Paper. Sweet Bean Plans. Sticker Oki. I know half of this sheet um, my mom has. And then Sleepy Kitty by Fox and Pip. I need to use some of these. Um, the Rabbit Tribe. I used a lot of those. Oh my gosh, who was this freebie by? If I remember, I will put it down here. Um, but this is the Loaf Mode Cat, which was a digital, and I just printed a whole sheet. I forget where that's from. Amelie Planner. The Primrose Corner. I love these. Look how cute. I need to, like, use more of these, but okay. The Whimsical Cat. <laughs> Fox and Cactus. Pumpkin Paper Co. Sweet Kawaii Design. Love. Okay. Like I said, when, um, we'll look into the current ones that I keep in my collection as well in a future video, hopefully.
And then we have sleep, which has its own category, but these are backups. So Monica's Marvels. Some paper lemonade. This was also a digital. More Monica's Marvels. Bubba Bear. Planner accessories. More Bubba Bear. Oh, hello, Michelle. Paper Mela. Mela. Again, I don't want to butcher. And then Lexi Kylie Designs, which I apparently only used one of because I don't get to sleep in much. Um, I don't think I ever really did, except for, well, that's not true. I do get to sleep in sometimes. So there's that. Um, I have a section called sidebars, and I had a lot of these really cool stickers from the Planning Butler that I used to use all the time. I did recently use one, so I do go back to them. I just, I think I hoard a lot of it. Um, and also because, like, it's usually when I have a lot going on that I reach for one of these. How cool is that? Like the floral. So yeah, that is the sidebars. Next is Next is social media. We have some Planner Monkey Co. Amelie Planner. This is Doodles Do. .com.au. There's like a social media tracker, which I never used. Um, this is like for Instagram posts. Um, this is an oops sheet from my shop. I used to have those in my shop. Um, this is your creative studio. Planner press. Um, I forget where this is from. This says F and SP. I forget what that is. Um, BAM Studio and CS Illustrations. Yay! Okay, we're coming to the end. So that was social media. And lastly, we have tattoo, which I think I have some tattoo stickers in my um, hobbies section. <laughs> oddly enough in my daily stickers but I recently got my sleeve um the process of my sleeve being finished like started if that makes sense so I have another appointment um next Monday so I'm gonna be hopefully using a lot of tattoo stickers throughout my life I'm not done um by any means so this used to be in my shop um not anymore um, happy day. -uh. I have tons of tattoo appointments, appointment stickers. Um, this is Sweet Avis Paper. I love it. So it's like Chip Tattooing Dundee, I think. They're so cute. Um, this is an old one from Anxiety Aids. And then this is one that I can't bring myself to use because it's so freaking cute from the Honey Bee Shop. Um, so yeah, those are my extra tattoo stickers. And next I have tanning. And I do have, I think, a summer section or like a vacation section that has more of these stickers, but I don't have like tanning specific in my daily collection. So I know this is a backup. I have another sheet of this. We have this bunny from Simply Me Kish. Create with pen. Ohana Story, Ohana Story. So this is for tanning in the tanning bed and in real life. Um, this is used to be in my shop. And then Pumpkin Paper Co. Like tanning girls and then burnt. I did get sun poisoning recently and <laughs> that um, week has yet to be back planned. So I could definitely make use of use of those stickers last but not least in this collection is the target tab 
and I literally have stickers that are just Target specific. So I have some Planner Mania, Grin and Barrett, she has the Target bag, Fox and Pip, Fox and Pip. This could be shopping, but I don't know. It does have the Target logo, if you can see that, on the receipt and the cart. Um, and then this is CS Illustrations, just Target with the logo, and then Stuck on Creations. I love these. Look at the Target dog. <laughs> so cute. So yeah, that was the last section of this box. And that, my friends, is all of it all of the stuff that is in my backup slash overstock backstock uh folder or box i don't even know like storage system is that what you call this um anyway so hopefully you guys got something out of that because if not that was me rambling for like way too long for no purpose at all so <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to sharing with you like some of my reusable um, sticker albums as well as my my current daily sticker collection um, so hopefully that will show up in a future uh, storage and organization video um, but yeah as far as this video, we are done. So if you guys have any questions, please comment down below or shoot me a message or an email or whatever you want. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you are safe, well, and healthy and happy and peaceful. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. Take care.